back to my channel, Ash Be So Exclusive. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell to be notified every time I drop a video. Let me tell y'all what happened yesterday. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. So, my daughter went skating. And like any parent, you know, you check their location, make sure they made it to the skating ring or whatever. And I did, I checked it and seen she was there. And then when it was time to, you know, go back, head back to the school, I checked her location, she's at the school. So around like 150 every day, between 150, 155, she'll text me like I'm on the bus, right? Yesterday, I'm like, okay, 150, no text, you know, time 152, 155 come, I'm like, no text, here go two o'clock. No text. So I checked the location. Her, her phone is at the school. And I see on the we have the bus app where you can track the bus. So the bus is at the I guess the bus yard or wherever all the buses meet or whatever. So the bus is nowhere near the school. So I'm like, okay, I'm calling her phone, texting her, like, what's going on? No response. I'm like, this is weird. So I'm steady checking, like the phone's at the school. So so I'm thinking that it was a situation that happened like a year ago at school when she lost the phone and somebody else had the phone and so that's what I was thinking okay maybe it's this type of situation so you know don't trip so I didn't even go to the bus stop I just was like okay I'm gonna go straight to the school because something I just felt I had a feeling something like something's not right so I'm on my way to school I had my mom call I'm like you keep calling Aaliyah's phone and see if you can get a, an answer or a text back or whatever so mom called me halfway over there and I'm talking to her so I'm like, okay, let me, I, my mom call you back, you know, I'm calling me call the school. So on my way to the school, I'm calling them and a man answer the phone. I tell them, you know, who I am, who my daughter is, what grade she in. I'm like, I see the location is at the school on her phone. And then the bus app, the bus is not moving. There's, I guess there's no bus for today. So he's just like, oh no, she's either gone, already gone or whatever. And I'm telling him like, no, her location on her phone is saying that she's still at the school. And I'm telling him there's no bus. The bus is not even moving on the app. So he like, hold on, let me see. So I'm still driving. I'm on hold like for a minute. So my mom calls, you know, clicks in. I'm talking to her or whatever. Then she, you know, asked me like, have you talked to her? No. Nope. I'm on the phone with the schools. I'm call you back once I got the phone with them. So the man get back on the phone. He's like, so I'm going to, um, on the loudspeaker, I'll call her name and see if she come to the office or whatever. And somehow I got on hold again, and then I heard a phone ringing. I'm like, I didn't know what was going on. So I'm pulling up at the school. I see one bus, you know, kids get on one bus, but I'm still checking this location. Her phone is at this school. So she's. I'm hoping she's here with this phone and, so, and ain't nothing happened. Because, you know, the parents, you know, you parents, you think the worst thing. You see all these TV shows, you watch the news, stuff happen, kids come up missing. And I'm like, Lord, let her be at the school. Like, I don't want to panic. Let me keep it under control or whatever. So when I get to the school, a lady answered the phone. I was like, hold on, hold on, here she go, here she go. So I'm like, Aaliyah, what's going on? Like, I'll text you, I'll call you, no response, nothing. And she like, hello, hello. I'm like, hello, I'm, I can hear you, hello, hello. I'm steady saying, Aaliyah, Aaliyah, hello, hello. And she like, hold on, I said, I'm outside the school. She, and then she like, hello, I'm like, Aaliyah, I'm outside. Come outside, I'm outside, I'm in front of your school. And she comes out, get in the car. I'm like, so I've been calling you, texting you, your grandma, your, you know what I'm saying? Everybody been calling, texting you, trying to figure out what's going on. You had us kind of scared, like, because we didn't know what was going on. Anything could have happened. This is a crazy world we're living in. And she was, by the time I got to the school, it was 2.30. Her bus usually gets to her bus stop, like, 2.10. So I'm like, it's 2.30. What's going on? She was like, I didn't know. The, here go, you know how kids are. I didn't know that the bus wasn't coming or something like that i'm like so you just gonna sit there you seen the i'm pretty sure you seen other kids on your bus so you was just gonna sit there and my first thing you should have went to the office and like okay I need the, hold on she said her phone died so if your phone died and you had no way to contact me you should have went to the office and had them call me my daughter is so shy that I said, so, so you're going to sit there and just hope that somebody come up and ask you what's wrong or who you waiting on? No, because it's after school activities because they could have thought she was waiting, you know, after, you know, stayed at school for activities or whatever. I'm like, you have to speak up. You got to talk. Like, I'm glad I didn't go. I didn't go to the bus stop. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Most parents probably would have went to the bus stop and waited. Mm -mm. I didn't even, I skipped the bus stop and right to the school because it was just, some was just, was off. So I'm like, you have to open your mouth and talk. You cannot be that shy when you just sit there. You're like, oh, my phone is dead, so I can't text mom and tell her that I need a ride home. So I'm just sitting here 
I guess hoping a teacher or somebody's gonna ask her like, uh, or you stand in school for some or what's, you know, no. You have to go to the office, have them call me so I will know. Like, when I say it was the scariest day of my life because you try not to panic and you're trying to figure out, you see the location and like, it was a mess. When I say it was a mess, and you got your, my mother calling me and they're like, well, did you find her? You know, like, it was just too much going on. Like, I said, you have to, I said, first of all, you shouldn't, the phone, take the phone to school is for emergencies. So you shouldn't even, you went skating. So if you knew your phone, you had like a little bit of percentage left, you should have saved that. So you knew when you got on the bus to text me, I'm on the bus or I need to ride home. Not just play you on the phone until the phone die. You know how kids are with the little games and all that. So she know how kids, she looking crazy and stuff. I'm like, this was, you don't understand how scared I was. Like that was the scariest moment of my life. Cause you know, you know not to know where your child is in school, trying to kind of brush it off. Like, oh no, she, if she's not out there with the rest and she's already on the bus and whatever. No, I, I no, her location on her phone is at the school. Her phone is at the school. I see the location. So y'all need to do something. I'm on, I'm on my way to the school. So y'all need to be looking. So like he said, he got on a loudspeaker and called her and thank God she was at the school and safe. It's just the fact that my daughter is so shy that she won't speak up. I'm like, a situation, serious situations or if you situation, your phone died, you have to talk. I need to call mama. I need to ride home. You know what I'm saying? Don't just sit there. I think, so how long? I'm like, you're just going to sit there and just sit there, I guess. Would you sit there to the school close or what? Like, y'all don't understand. Like, I'm it's pretty sure some parents have been in this situation. At least it's the scariest thing ever. When I say I didn't talk to anybody the rest of the day, because I was just like, oh, my God. I just It was just too much. You know, you're trying to stay calm, not panic and freak out, hoping everything's okay, thinking, okay, let me stay positive. You know, think the bit. You know, like, ooh, it was just too, too much. But... All it was was her phone died and she didn't say anything and just was sitting there. And you had us just thinking the worst because we was calling and texting and didn't know. And what's the craziest, my text went through. It was delivered. And I called three times and it went through. So I'm like, the phone had to go dead sometime after that. Because I know my mom texted and the text didn't go through. We didn't get that text till later on that, you know, once she was home. So I'll be like, Lord, if this happened again, you need to go to the office. I need to call my parents. I need to ride home. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just that simple.